Hey cuties, I'm Lanikia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is uh, the Young and the Restless edition. Today is Tuesday, August the 2nd, 2022. On a scale of 1 to 10, of 1 to 10, I am going to give this a 7. Excuse me, a 7.5. Um, it was really good and it moved the story along. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. We see Chance and Kevin meet. I want to call this man Leo so bad. <laughs> Chance and Kevin meet, and they're talking and about everything that has went on with the with the Newmans, and um, Kevin is like, yeah, Ashlyn ended up in the ravine. He drowned and everything. You know, he committed suicide, and he's like, I don't, did, so you didn't read the full report, and Kevin is just like, what more is it to read? Like, it, it it is what it is, what happened. And he said, no, you need to read the full report. And then he tells him, go talk to the um, coroner. Y'all like the same game. Go and get more information from her because he feels like um, the autopsy will show that this was a cover up and that Ashlyn had died before he ever got into that car. And so uh, Kevin reluctantly, because he feels like there's no, not much more to it, but he reluct reluctantly agrees to do this. And so he goes ahead and he does it. And so then we see that um, once he does this, we see that Nick is thinking about what has went down, you know, everything. And Nick has questions of his own about how involved Victor was in this. And that's when Sally comes in and she lets Nick know that she decided to say, um, is anybody else thinking that they're going to put, they're going to put Sally and Nick together? Because I feel that that's where this storyline is going, that eventually these two are going to be together. Like she's going to be his, um, confidant the way she was to Adam. But, um, anyways, what we're seeing is that he talks to Sally and he tells Sally about, you know, everything that's going on with his uh, dad and how um, everything that's going on with Ashlyn, because she get she gets a report that says that Ashlyn um, is dead. Well, first they talk about, you know, how she's going to stay at the company and how she's glad that she did you know, he talked to her and gave her tough love. And he was like, I'm sorry, I was really harsh on you. And so then she sees where um, he is talking about, then she sees where um, a, a report that says Ashlyn has died. And so once she sees that, she's like, oh my gosh, Ashlyn is dead. And, you know, he has to give her a little bit more information, but he tells her pretty much as new in media, we want you to stick to the facts. Yeah. What's in the report? And she says, thank you for trusting me. And um, that, that was pretty much it with them guys. So then we go over to Victor and he talks to, I'm assuming is Michael or who, who are head of security. And they're letting him know that um, the security team has talked to Chance and they did what they were supposed to do, which is told, told them as little information as possible. So then Noah has his meeting with Victor because, you know, Noah, it was wanting to, uh, to start a company of his own. So he's wanting to start this company and he has his meeting with Victor and everything. And, um, it, it goes well, actually he's, he's dope. He does a great job, um, with the company and every, like with his pitch. And what, when I say it goes well, I mean, Noah, you know, gave his pitch and it was really great, great pitch. However, Victor is not in for it which no one knew was going to be a long shot. So um, that's it with that. So then uh, Chance, excuse me, Noah goes and sees Allie and he tells her, you know, it was a no go. And she said, that's okay. Do what your sister said. Because remember, Summer had already told him, Victor's not going to go for this. Just go to, you know, Phyllis and talk to Phyllis about using the Phoenix, the Grand Phoenix, which was a more, the atmosphere that you want anyways. And so, he says he doesn't, you know, he'll be working with Phyllis and she always has drama. I said, sir, the Newmans always have drama. It's the same difference. You, you'll be okay. And at least Phyllis will hear you out and probably go for it. Whereas Victor shot, shot you down immediately. <laughs> so anyways, then we, um, we see them talk about the Newmans, um, because he gets the report 
that you know ashlyn is dead and he says my grandfather didn't mention this and my grandfather mentions everything like this affects our family and so he start even he's questioning why victor wouldn't mention this i said victor you are leaving trails all over the place the more you try to cover this up the more um out there it is being and more the more suspicious people are becoming but anyways ali he tells ali you know his grandfather's a great person but he's also you know manipulative conniving you know he it is what it is and she says well i mean i know your grandfather could probably be both people he's human and she says but i don't scare away easily and she's all good with it she wants to get to know noah and i love this couple anyways y'all ah uh, so then we go to Chance. So Chance had told Nick, can you meet me? So he goes and he tells Nick, you know, he spoke to the security team and they all have the same story, which is a red flag. And listen, Nick said, let's cut the BS. You you think I know something that I don't know. I've told you everything I've known. I know. I gave you Locke's ring. I've done everything. I've been as open and honest as I possibly can. And that is 100% true. Because I, if, I don't blame Nick. I'm not going to say, well, I think my father was involved when I don't know for sure that he was involved. Because at this point, all Nick knows is that he when he left Ashland, he thought he was dead. And when he came back, the body was gone. He doesn't know how the body was moved. He doesn't know anything. He has suspicions, but I'm not about to tell you my suspicions of what's going on. I'm telling you what happened. And what happened is cut and dry. Nick was, Nick saw the body and then the body was gone. And, but so he tells Chance, you know, your family has been through a lot. Like we, we're Abby's siblings and everything. We're family. And we've been through a lot with Ashley. You're just coming on at the end at his death. He said, we were there. I was there from day one when I knew he was no good. When he's been, since he's been terrorizing the family and everything. So unless you have um, something to say to me, then I'm done with this. So then Leo, mm, sorry. So then Kevin call, talks to Chance and he says that the examiner said Ashton was hit with blunt force and it could have killed him on impact. But she can't rule out um, that, you know, about him dying in the ravine. So they know that Nick possibly could have been the one to kill Ashlyn but the only problem is they don't know how he got from being in Victoria's home to being on um in the ravine getting to his car going to the ravine and so that's what they're trying to figure out so it's not even that um they're looking into Nick excuse me they're looking into what Victor has done um from the time Nick left to the time Ashlyn was in the ravine and that's the piece of the pie that is fuzzy to chance and why he can't let this go um and everything so then we see adam and um victor speak and adam just tells victor you know you didn't even tell me everything that was going on and he says we were preoccupied and adam said yeah but you would have y'all would have hit me up if it was something shady or underhanded that you wanted done and then i could be useful to you but this kind of stuff oh you can't even bother to mention he says but um that's one of the reasons i'm not a part of the family and victor says that's my choice but baby when Adam went to going in on Victor talking about how this all looks shady and how Victor got what he wanted, which is Ashlyn gone and everything. And Victor leaned in and he told Adam, you starting to piss me off. <laughs> when he's like gone and he's gone. But that was just a crazy coincidence, wasn't it? You're beginning to piss me off. And that's never a good idea. I holler. <laughs> he said, you are making me upset. And I was like, I don't care. It does look shady. He said, why do you care um, if Locke is gone? He said, I, because you are looking guilty. He says, if, if Ashlyn is no longer a threat, excuse me, then why are you still running around and why are your movements like he's a threat? And Victor says there is always one, um, another threat lurking around. Just because one is gone doesn't mean there's not another one lurking and you always need to be on alert and all that. But Adam was just like, yeah, good luck. What you going on? And I feel like Adam is going to use this 
to his advantage. I feel like Adam's going to find out exactly what happened and use this to his advantage. And that was the young and the restless today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time um, on what happened on the soaps, the young and the restless edition. Bye.